This is Suzanne Wagner, and we are doing the numerology and astrology for the 18th of June, 2022. Thank you for joining me. All right. If we add all those numbers together, you get the number 21. And if we add the two and the one together, you get the number three. Today, the number three is asking us to keep a positive attitude no matter what. I observe so many people in my line of work, and I can tell you that those that consistently move from hopeful intentions with a grounded perspective and attention to detail seem to thrive the best and manage to attract good things. They also tend to not miss those opportunities because of self-doubt, feeling not worthy, or the belief in being not good enough. It is all about believing in one's ability to risk, then to be willing to make mistakes, and finally learn from those mistakes, and then to get back up and try again. When we embrace that life is filled with opportunities that do not necessarily pan out, but that will ultimately teach us the essential lessons necessary for success later on, then life becomes the greatest journey and one that is worth the effort in the long run. The astrology for today. Don't let the fears get in the way. Defensiveness is not who we are or what we want to be remembered for. While others can be discouraged, choose instead to be embracing and encouraging. Each day we find new lessons that come our way, but let your heart pick the paths that open you to that generosity that is a part of who you are. We can do things with less, and we do not need to spend so much money. Share with others, make an extra batch of cookies, sing to the land and talk to the river. Today is a day to detox and let the simple things be enough. We are still gifted with the Aquarian moon till this evening, giving us an ability to not sweat the small stuff. That is very helpful in the current extreme emotional state of our world. Let your sense of fairness and justice be your guide forward. Take the energy you have inside your heart and give more understanding to others. Once the moon goes into Pisces, things calm down and there it, and that is assisted because there will also be a Neptune-Venus sextile starting up. Spiritually, we are attempting to be less attached to others and instead we are working towards being more gentle and giving others the benefit of the doubt. As we shift from the Venus and Saturn square, situations will seem less complicated and more into a cosmic flow. We are stepping out of a place of separation and into a place of compassionate connection. It is important to be concerned for others at this time. Have a great day.